In this video, we'll take a look at the cheapest electric motor with remote control. For which boats is the motor suitable? What can you expect for the price? But where are the disadvantages? As usual, you'll see after the intro. Let's go. Hi dear boat drivers, I'm Johan and welcome to a new video from eBootsMotoren.tv. Next to me, you can already see the Haswing Ventura F5.0. The name already reflects the power comparable to a gasoline engine with 5 horsepower. The F stands for remote control. There's the same motor but also with a tiller. This is the Ventura T5.0. As always, you can find both Ventura models in our shop. Let's start with the technical specifications, the special features and of course the price. Finally, as always, comes the volume test and of course my conclusion. The name Haswing is probably unfamiliar to most of you. Haswing is a Chinese brand, which is especially noticeable in terms of the pricing. The engine actually costs significantly less than other models with similar performance. There is also a German importer for Haswing motors who consistently holds spare parts in stock and is also able to carry out repairs. Let's start with the technical specifications. We're talking about a continuous power of up to 2400 watts for the Ventura and a maximum power of 2520 watts. The thrust is 160 lips or 72.5 kilograms. The motor requires a 24 volt battery or two 12 volt batteries in series in the voltage range of 17.5 volts to 30.6 volts. The three blade propeller has a diameter of 27 centimeters and is made of durable plastic. As always, the plastic propeller has some advantages. In case of damage, the propeller can be cheaply replaced. When attaching the propeller, you see this shear pin. It's the predetermined breaking point. Before the propeller gets damaged, this small pin breaks first, allowing the propeller to spin freely. Thanks to the aluminum housing, motors are relatively light. The Ventura with remote control is 17.3 kilograms, while the one with a tiller is only 14.7 kilograms. Certainly lighter than a comparable gasoline engine. Additionally, the motors are also saltwater resistant thanks to the material. Only the anode on the propeller needs to be regularly checked and periodically replaced. All engines are controlled steplessly. The F5.0 via the remote control and the T5.0 via the tiller. On the motor's casing, there's also a small LED battery indicator. The battery indicator is voltage-based and only works in combination with AKM batteries. Due to the voltage curve of lithium batteries, the motor does not display reliable values when using lithium batteries. Here you should always rely on a shond or a battery with Bluetooth. The Ventura with a tiller has a shaft length of 6 cm and is suitable for motorboats, cabin boats and the like, with a flatter mirror. At a mirror height of 38 to 40 cm, the motor is still a good 30 cm underwater. The Ventura with remote control, on the other hand, has a 77 cm long shaft. This makes the remote control motor suitable for motor and cabin boats, as well as for sailboats. So, a few words about the design. I think the Hasving Ventura offers a simple, yet modern look. Black always fits, and the color of the aluminum is also very timeless. In combination, I find it quite stylish. In my opinion, it's particularly nice that they decided to leave out the accent color so there's no blue or orange. So the motor really fits any boat. Color and appearance, however, are always a matter of taste. Next, we'll move on to the controls. On the side of the Ventura F5.0, there's the slot for the remote control. That means I can connect the motor to the existing remote control system from the boat. I simply need to install the throttle lever into the boat. It features a communication cable that measures 4 meters and 30 centimeters in length. The throttle isn't exactly a masterpiece, but it's functional above all. I can quickly switch between forward and reverse gears. A clear notch at zero ensures overshooting any intended targets is reliably prevented. In general, the resistance is not too light either. This makes controlling it quite pleasant. Let's move on to the display. Effectively, we have a white LED light here with the voltage. As soon as the motor is connected to the battery, the display turns on. In our example, we use two AGM batteries. They're definitely fully charged. The emergency stop switch must be in place, otherwise the motor beeps continuously. What's interesting is the design of the emergency stop switch on the Ventura F. It's integrated right into this throttle lever. The Ventura can be tilted up like almost any outboard motor. This is quite convenient as there is a carrying handle at the back that you can hold on to. Most of the weight is situated at the bottom, which makes it definitely heavier compared to a small fishing motor. However, still easier than with a 5 horsepower gasoline engine. Of course, you can not only tilt up the motor, but also trim it. The Ventura operates in four different stages. You just need to pull this lever here on the side upwards and then you can move the motor to the desired position. Once you release the lever downwards again, you can pull the motor up a bit more and then it goes back down. Quite simply, what travel time can you achieve with this thing now? As always, it all depends on what you need the engine for, what kind of boat you have and where you're going. 
Just a brief note, at 2400 watts, currents of 100 amperes flow. So far so good, but at the maximum power of 2520 watts, we're talking about 105 amperes. This definitely needs to be taken into account when designing the battery. That's why a battery with only 100 amperes of peak current isn't sufficient. Otherwise, you risk damaging the battery. A very nice option is the 24 volt 100 ampere hour Leontron battery. However, this is slightly more expensive due to the high charging currents, but then you only have one battery on board and don't need to connect anything. If you need more range anyway, we recommend going straight for two of the 24 volt 100 ampere hour batteries from Ultimatron. You couldn't use a battery because of the discharge currents. With two of the Ultimatron batteries, you then have a whopping 5.2 kilowatt hours available. Of course, two 12 volt AGM batteries work as well. You can use Ventura's own display directly and it's significantly cheaper. Or you just use two 12 volt lithium batteries, but make sure you can connect them together. And that you either have a measurement shunt or a Bluetooth module in the batteries. Now it gets exciting. Let's talk about the price. Everything is already included in the delivery of the Ventura 5.0. The motor with propeller, tiller or remote control, emergency stop switch, two anodes, shear pins and the user manual. The engine is available from 1,299 euros and that's pretty darn cheap for the performance. With the cheapest lithium batteries, it's about 3,000 euros for the 2.5 kilowatt hour motor and 2.8 kilowatt hour battery. With AGM batteries, the cost is just under 2,300 euros, which is simply unbeatable compared to other providers. Sure, still pricier than a combustion engine, but you get all the perks of an electric motor. If after watching the video you think the Hasving Ventura 5.0 is for you, feel free to check out our online shop. Here you can configure the engines with the desired battery size and of course also order them directly. You'll find the link, as always, down in the video description. So what kind of boat is the Hasving Ventura suitable for? Basically, I'd say for any use. However, for an inflatable boat, Ventura seems too powerful from my view. Glide flight is not easily possible due to the RPM limitation. I would recommend the Ventura classically for displacement boats, like motorboats, especially cabin cruisers up to 1.0 tons, and with not too much current, up to 1.5 tons. For motorboats, we generally calculate about 2 kilowatts per ton in order to reach the hull speed. The Ventura also performs well on sailboats. In this context, you can utilize the motor for boat weights up to 1.5 tons or even 2 tons. When outboard motors with integrated batteries aren't powerful enough, I think that's when the Ventura steps in. We usually calculate about 1.5 kilowatts per ton for sailboats. Let's take a look at what outboards are available in that power range and how much they cost. We have the ePropulsion Navy 3.0 Evo, which is priced at 2,549 euros, almost double the amount. There's also the Aquamart trend with 2.2 kilowatts or 4.3 kilowatts and the 4 kilowatt ETEC. These models sind nur für Verdränger gedacht und meist kostspieliger. If you're looking for a solution for light sailboats or inflatable boats, you'll likely end up with the Tokido Cruise 3.0. This one is light and certainly the best in terms of quality, but the Cruise 3 costs three times as much. It definitely stands out that there is an immense price difference compared to other manufacturers. Other brands provide more features such as a display, plus they often have a different look and sometimes more processing power. It really all depends on what you're looking for. Let's, as always, move on to our volume test in the dry run. The Ventura motors consist of brushless motors that come without any gears. As soon as I start the engine, I hear a distinctly noticeable sound. According to the datasheet, it is 55 decibels. That's comparable to the noise of a refrigerator. I'd say in the lower RPM range, it's a bit louder. In the higher RPM range, it runs very smoothly and is somewhat quieter. I'll shift into reverse now. Yes, it certainly sounds quite the same. Out in the water, naturally, you can hear even less of it overall. I've got the environment with water, the waves, the wind, and of course other boats all around me. We won't test in the water basin this time. Basically, the strong motor just damages the box and all you hear is the water splashing back and forth. We are currently working on being able to conduct the tests on water as well, and of course we'll take you along. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss it. Now, on to my conclusion. The overall package of the Hasswing Ventura 5.0 convinces me primarily because of the affordable price. E-mobility must be affordable, that's something we've frequently read from you in the comments. The Ventura is definitely not just a cheap part from China, but rather a very solid engine overall. Will the motor last 20 years? Probably not. For vessels over one ton, the Haswing Ventura 5.0 is a good pick.
So cabin boats, small houseboats or sailboats, we think the Ventura 5.0 is a great motor, particularly beneficial for recreational use, even though we have several boat rental services that have been using them regularly. The only downsides from my point of view are this small calculator display, which really only shows the voltage and of course the volume. However, as we've clearly heard, the motor really isn't that loud. But if what you want is a completely silent motor, then it's worth considering the e-propulsion Navy, Torquedo Cruise 3 or Aquamod Trend motors. Do you have friends or colleagues who don't know about our YouTube channel yet? Then be sure to kindly let them know to check out eBoats Motors TV. Thank you very much for watching and for your continued support. We will see you next time. In our next video, we're discussing lithium or AGM batteries. This is especially important for the Ventura. Take care and see you next time. Yours, Johan.